No Film School's coverage of NAB 2017 is brought to you by Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. Vimeo, the new home for 360 video. Learn more at vimeo.com slash 360. My Road Reel, presented by Road Microphones. Back with more categories, more chances to win, and over $500,000 worth of prizes. Hey everybody, this is Charles for No Film School. I'm here at the Flanders Scientific booth at NAB Show 2017 with Brom Desmet, the CEO of Flanders Scientific. We apologize if it's a little dark. They keep it really dark here so we can see the accuracy of the monitors. And uh, now we get to see the low light on the Black Magic camera. So, uh, Bram, uh, thank you for having us. This is obviously the most exciting announcement you've got going right now. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, so this is a 55 inch uh, ultra high definition OLED. Uh, it's a HDR capable, does 750 nits peak luminance. Um, supports several different formats for HDR. One of the kind of novel things that we do with this as well is we allow you to feed it 12 gigabit a second SDI and then feed um, 3G out of it. So we'll do a real-time down conversion to HD for downstream monitors. 10-bit panel, obviously, OLED panel, so excellent black levels. Uh, doesn't really get much better in terms of display performance. One of the big things with this is you have the professional interfaces built directly in, right? So you have 12 gigabit a second SDI, which means it supports all formats. If you ever need to do HD projects or anything like that that are progressive segmented frame, you're not going to do that over HDMI. This will handle any sort of normal video format you would want to throw at it. Uh, we also don't have all that consumer processing type stuff that's hard to kill on some of these consumer units. There's no artificial motion smoothing, right? So it never looks like a soap opera? It never looks like a soap opera. There's none of this, uh, none of this other uh, processing stuff you find on consumer consumer units. The obvious competitor in this space is the Blackmagic Mini Terranex, which yep. can do some of the similar things. Yep. But if you want both the conversion from 12G to HDMI and to go out to quad link, yep. you actually need to combine two boxes. So with us, you have, you have just that one box. And the big advantages with us is no fan. Uh, so uh, even variable speed fans, they're, they're noisy and you get variable noise. <laughs> so uh, variable f speed fan is not a solution to the noise problem in our opinion. Uh, the other thing is um, you have the ability to do the 3D and the 1D as opposed to just the 3D LUT. Um, so those are some of the things that we think kind of set us apart uh, in, the, in that space. And it'll be price competitive with that. We haven't announced the exact price, but it'll be in that range. So this is uh, ScopeStream. So ScopeStream is a capability that's built into both Box.io uh, which are our color management devices and all of our DM series monitors. And essentially what it is, is all the video analysis actually happens on the device. So it happens on the box IO or it happens on the DM series monitor. And you then can stream that data back to a uh, connected computer. It can be a Mac or a PC, uh, really anything that can be uh, IP connected. We see basically uh, two types of applications for this. One is where it, you kind of go with the obvious solution that's going to be primarily a client monitor, and that's why we built that downscale HD out to go to the colorist monitor, which will typically be an HD monitor because at 24 inch, asking for 4K resolution is just asking for more cost uh, without any real visual benefit. But the other solution is exactly what you said. It's going to a single monitor suite. It's something people have been asking for for a long time. It is a good enough reference monitor certainly to be used as a single monitor for the colorist and the client to look at at the same time. It's for light duty color correction applications, this is what people typically need. Um, you know, if you're a, a colorist working on a blockbuster movie, then yeah, you probably want something a little higher end, but this will do a very good job for those applications. We do have the new Box.io 12G, which again, for more for onset applications, is kind of a compelling box because it's a LUT box that has four independent inputs and outputs, all with 33-sided cubes. So if you're ever trying to do live looks on set or if you're trying to do, you know, manage the looks of four different monitors at the same time, that device will do it all in one convenient little box. We affectionately refer to it as the mother of all LUT boxes. So. <laughs> Uh, and as the mo <laughs> mulb, yeah. as the mulb, does it come with a, a consummate mulby price? <laughs> uh, it will cost more than four box IOs, hopefully not too much more, uh, but we'll uh, settle on a price a little bit after the show and announce it then. So. Yeah. That's a whole lot of updates from Flanders Scientific. They've got a 55 inch monitor, which is gonna be maybe not as cheap as an LG, but it's gonna be within a ballpark where it saves you having to buy a LUP box and you finally have a monitor that's big enough for the client to watch and accurate enough for the colorist to look at. You've got a scope solution that if you've got an old iMac lying around, you have really accurate scopes. And we've got a whole bunch of new LUT box solutions that I think are going to be pretty exciting. So if you're dipping your toe into color correction or if you're looking into becoming a DIT, I think this is all stuff to really give a close look to.